guys welcome back to my channel this video is my weekly makeup drawer for the upcoming week let's talk about the items that are gonna come out and then we'll go ahead and pick the new items for the next week uh, the first thing that's gonna come out is this Victoria's Secret uh, setting powder it's called a finishing powder uh, I think I'm gonna move this to my uh, bronzer door because this is more of a bronzer uh, it's too dark for me it I used it as a bronzer and I did like it as bronzer so I am gonna move it to my bronzer drawer it's just gonna come out from this drawer for this week um, the other thing that is going to come out is this Besame uh, brightening violet powder translucent I really really like this product I uh, have been enjoying it a lot, but I am going to take it out and put something else in. Uh, these are going to stay. Actually, I'm going to take this guy out. I haven't reached for it since I put it in here. This is the Bare Minerals Mineral Veil, and this is the Illuminating Mineral Veil. I am going to take it out. I'm not decluttering it, just going out. Uh, for blushes, blushes, I am going to take out the MAC uh, Just a Pinch Extra Dimension Blush. This thing is gorgeous. I did use it a couple times. I'm going to take it out and put something else in. This is what it looks like. It's absolutely beautiful. Uh, let's see here. What do I have? I did not use this guy. I'm just going to take it out. I haven't reached for it at all. Uh, this is the Becca. These are supposed to be highlighters, but I'm, you want to use it as a blush. Um, I am going to take it out though. This is the Becca Light Chaser Highlighter in Amethyst Flashes Geode. It's absolutely beautiful. I don't know why I haven't reached for it, honestly. Um, it's absolutely gorgeous. I'm just gonna take it out, put something else in. Uh, this guy I did use, I did use the blush. I did not use the highlighter. I am gonna take it out. This is by Makeup Forever. Again, I do not know the exact shade. Um, for these, uh, it's really, really beautiful, but yeah, I am going to take it, take it out. I think this is more suitable for like winter month or something like that because it is that berry color and it is matte. The highlighter is gorgeous. I just did not use it this time around. What's going to stay here is the pretty vulgar, um, blush. This was in BoxyCharm and the Bare Minerals, which now is in my uh, finish 18 in 2018. The other blushes that I did have in here is the Laura Geller Hollywood Blushing Blush Trio. I totally forgot that this was in here, so I did not reach for it at all last week, so I'm gonna keep it. For um, bronzers and highlighters, I am going to take out uh, the Becca Champagne Pop. If you watched my 18 in 2018, uh, since I hit pan in this, I am replacing it with the Becca, this is opal, yeah, Becca opal. So now this is in my 18 for 2018 instead of this guy. Uh, I do have a pretty big pan in here, so I want to finish this product. This is just going to stay in my collection, just going to come out. Uh, did I have any other highlighters? Yes, I did. I had the Victoria's Secret Shimmering like loose diamond thing i did not use this honestly so it's gonna go in here uh the milani baked blush i did say that i was gonna make this a highlighter instead of a blush in uh, rosa romantica it's very beautiful but again this is definitely not a blush it's a highlighter this is what that looks like absolutely gorgeous it's time for it to come out um i totally forgot to take this guy out last week and this is the Cover FX Custom Enhancer Drops in Moonlight. I did use it. I really enjoy it. I'm going to take it out because I am trying to finish this Becca Opal Spotlight. Uh, for bronzer, I did have the Natural Bronzer by Rimmel and the MAC. The MAC is in a project, so it's going to stay. This guy, I did really, really enjoy it, honestly. It was very beautiful on the skin. Um, I want to take it out. I'm gonna key, uh, I am gonna take it out. Yeah, I, I will take it out. The other thing that I did have is this Do The Hula Benefit um, bronzer. I'm just, I think I'm gonna get rid of this. I did not use it at all. It really is not something, I mean, it's an extra step that you have to remember that, hey, you are, do you wanna use a bronzer? So I'm gonna take it out. Uh, maybe I'll start using it on my body, I don't know. Or, I mean, it's kind of orange. I don't know if I just want to 
declutter it, call it quits on this guy. I don't know, I will update you, but I'm gonna take it out. I'll update you in the description box what I decide to do with this. I'm gonna take it out, I haven't used it. Okay, the other like bronzer um, highlighter palette thing that I did have is the Tarte Tartiste Pro Glow. Honestly, I did not use this at all. Um, I don't know why. It is really beautiful. I really wanted to try that contour shade. Um, so I didn't use it. I am going to keep it in here and see if I will use it this upcoming week. For lip products, this is probably the first week that I do not declutter any of these lip products because I like them all so much. Um, this uh, Rimmel Amethyst Shimmer, I did not like it by itself, but it looked really, really beautiful, topped with this Essence uh, 03BFF. Um, this topping that was absolutely gorgeous. Uh, this was really nice too. I used it kind of like a balm, the Alouette uh, Face Paint Lip and Cheek Tint. And this is the Blooming Berry. It tasted like berries. I, again, I used it as a balm on my lips. I did not use it on my cheeks. I really enjoyed it. For my kind of like moussey, but it was really nice. This is absolutely gorgeous. Bite Pomegranate Lipstick was very beautiful. Um, the only one that I was kind of on the fence about is this Ulta Matte Lip Cream, just because the color it's not really, it didn't suit me very well, um, but it was a very comfortable formula. It felt, made my lips feel so soft. Um, so I'm still, I am gonna hold on to it. Um, the NYX Butter London looked really beautiful on top of this Buxom Hush Hush uh, lip liner. So these are both gonna come out. And then the last thing in here, and I think I am gonna, uh, call it quits on this guy it's very dried out but it is the most beautiful red lipstick i personally own the formula is kind of dried out like i said and it was dried out on my lips but oh my god it's absolutely gorgeous i am gonna repurchase and this is by bh cosmetics Lux lacquer and the color is red velvet this is in my shopping cart currently at bh cosmetics so this i'm gonna throw out and i will repurchase the most beautiful blue lips um, red lipstick that i own and i have a lot of red lipsticks so i'm gonna call it get it out uh i finally finished this guy looks like there's a little bit left in here and i can't seem to get it out so what i'm gonna do i think i'm gonna dump this out into here why not try and mix those together uh, this is the tatcha luminous dewy skin mix <laughs> skin mist this is in my 4x420 um i'm gonna take it out of here and i will film that video the, the finale uh, on the 20th of this month it'll be uploaded but this is gone uh primers the only thing added in here is this mac uh, prep and prime natural radiance base base lumiere i always say the french name as well natural primer and radiant yellow i am gonna keep this guy in here well i just picked it so it's gonna be in here i have the soap cream let me move it over here and i did end up adding um, back the elf glitter primer because i did need it so i used it uh what else do i have in here uh these are all going to stay i am going to declutter this guy is the Victoria's Secret loose um, eyeshadow thing. The color is Precious Metal. I am going to declutter it. I don't reach for it. It's kind of like that gray color. Ugh, I do it every single time. I make just a horrible mess with this product. Um, for some reason, there's like a lot on the on the container itself. This is what it looks like. Um, I'm just going to declutter this. Okay, next I have my concealer, my mascaras. These are going to stay. All of these are going to stay. Nothing in here is gonna change. I did put in the Chila. Is this Chila, right? Yeah, the Chila Ivory Lace Highlighter. This is um uh, under brow highlighter. I have been using it, so I figured I should put it in here and try and use it up. I like this product. 
I have my setting spray. Oh, okay, let's talk about foundation. This guy, Rimmel Stay Matte Liquid Mousse Foundation in Soft Beige. This thing is absolutely amazing. I was really blown away. Um, I really, really enjoyed using it, but I am gonna take it out because I did not get a chance to use the Kiko Milano Smart Hydrating Foundation. So this is gonna stay, this is going to come out. Oh, another thing that I didn't mention is this MAC Pro Longwear Foundation. I am going to declutter this. I was kind of hesitant about doing that in my 365 days of samples. There's a, quite a bit of product left in here, but I used it when I filmed that video and I looked at myself like, okay, it looks really nice in camera and all that, but in real life it looks horrible. So I am going to declutter this. Stock eyeshadow palettes. I have the BH Cosmetics Glam Reflection Smoke Palette. This is wonderful. Um, I really like it. I have been using this and only this in the past week. So time for it to come out. The other eyeshadow palette that I did have in here is the BoxyCharm Pure Palette. Actually, sorry, I did use this once um, this past week and it's not nothing compared to the other one. It's okay, but I'm gonna keep it in here. I'm gonna try and play with the these kind of colors over here, the pinkies and berry. We'll see how they are. Um, and again, I do have the three eye gel packs. This is in here so I don't forget. Uh, this came in boxy charm. Um, so that's it for the stuff that's gonna come out. Let's go ahead and pick the new items. Alrighty, let's talk about the new products that are added in here for this week. Uh, the first one is for um, uh, loose powder and this is the e.l.f. booster and it's called Sheer. Uh, I always had my doubts about this product. I'd used it before and it's just like, I don't think this is sheer. This is a little too dark. I'm gonna give it a shot and see if I like it. If not, I'm gonna declutter it at the end of this week. Um, that's it for face. For blushes, I did add the Laura Geller uh, Baked Gelato Vivid Swirl Blush in Rose Water. Uh, it's a very pretty color, very springy. Uh, that's what it looks like. And another one, another product that I don't know if I like. I had used it before and um, I wanna make up my mind whether or not to keep it or declutter it. This is the Bella Pierre. I think this is like cheek and lip stain. Um, it is a cream product. I Again, I had used it before and I don't know if I liked it on my uh, cheeks or not. I'm gonna give it a shot and see if I'm gonna keep it or declutter it. I think I got this in a boxy charm long, long time ago. For highlighters and uh, bronzers, I did add the Cover FX Custom Enhancer Drops. But this is in Halo, a very pretty color. I'm gonna show you what this looks like real quick. A little bit of these goes a very long way. So what that looks like, it's so beautiful. Um, the other one that I or the bronzer that I did add is this Kiko Milano. This is, it says it's a blush, it's soft touch blush, but it's definitely a bronzer for me. So, so what that looks like. I mean, that's definitely a bronzer for me, not a blush. And I did also add in uh, this palette, which is by City Colors. It's the Sunlight Trio collection number one. It has the bronzer, the blush, and the highlight. I remember that I really liked the bronzer and the blush, but the highlight is a little too, um, so what am I saying? I did really like the highlight and the blush, but the bronzer is just too dark for me. It's kind of more of an eyeshadow, but I did add it. We'll see how that is. Um, next, let's talk about lips and then we'll go to the rest. For lips, I did choose the Too Faced Melted Matte and this is in Candy Can. Absolutely beautiful color. That's what that looks like. I did add the Pretty Vulgar. This is my lips are sealed. I think I also got this in a BoxyCharm a while back. I was not very sure if I liked this product or not, so I didn't get a chance to declutter it. This is gonna be my way. I did add this Ofra lipstick, and, and damn, I forgot what this is called. I would have to look at my um, love list at Ulta because I did add it in there. Um, I really, really like this product. It's very beautiful. Uh, Star Looks. This is what? Cuddle? Lip gloss kind of thing. I think this smells absolutely amazing like vanilla cupcake. That's what that looks like. 
Uh, three more products. <laughs> Wet n Wild uh, cat suit, liquid lipstick cat suit in Missy and Fierce. Um, it's a red. You can't have, you can't go a week without a red. Am I right? That's what that looks like. Uh, Nyx butter gloss in sugar cookie. I don't know if this is a product that will be keeping. The color is just. I mean, I guess it's opaque. It's not very. Um, it's sheer, not very opaque. I lost my train of thought, so I, that might work. And then the last one is by Bare Minerals Tantalizer. That's what that looks like. So very neutral, neutral and bright colors in one go. Uh, here I didn't add anything. Here I did add the e.l.f. Long Lasting Lustrous Eyeshadow. And this, I think this is just, just purple. Um, it's kind of got the same formula. Maybe this guy's dried out. I feel like I'm digging in. I think this is dried out. Um, it's kind of the same formula as, uh, what is it called? The Super Shock Shadow from ColourPop. It's beautiful. I'm gonna give it a shot. It might be dried out. Um, we'll see how easily I'll be able to apply that on my, on my eyes. Um, for eyeliners or anything like that, I didn't add anything. I did go ahead and add this BB cream by CoverGirl. Uh, this is light to medium. I've never used this guy before, so we'll see. And for an eyeshadow palette, I did add the MAC Queen Supreme. Uh, this is new to my collection. I just could not resist. This is what that looks like. It's all um, metallic shimmer shadows. So I will have to use the either my Naked 3 or that BoxyCharm Pure Palette alongside this one. This shade looks a lot like a highlighter shade like for a face, but yeah, that's what that looks like. Beautiful. That's why I added this e.l.f. product because I think it will go really well with this shade. So that's it for this week, for this upcoming week. If you guys enjoyed this video, please give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and I will see you in my next video. Bye! Thank you.